I've been to the Reebok CrossFit game five times, competing with some of the top athletes in the world. When you put your body to the test day in day out, you have to take recovery seriously. Whether it's scraping, pumping, mobilizing, flossing, you have to stay ahead of potential injuries. Mere seconds or reps separate winning and losing. Every snatch, sprint, and scrape make the difference. Be happy, be humble, be strong. Now they say, don't forget where you come from. Don't die holding on to your words. Wheel Wad, Wad 5. Presented by Myo Pucks and Leopard Claw. On a 12-minute clock for max reps, the athlete will perform an 8-minute AMRAP. In the 8-minute AMRAP, athletes will do 4 floor press with dumbbells, 4 box dips, 4 chest-to-bar pull-ups. At the end of the 8 minutes, the athlete will rest for 2 minutes. Then in the final 2 minutes, complete as many legless rope climbs as possible. These rope climbs will be done from the floor. Please see written standards for heights and weights of bars and dumbbells. Floor press. Athlete will lay on the floor with elbows touching the ground and back on the ground. Athlete will then grab two dumbbells and press them from touching the elbows on the floor to full extension out in front of the chest. Very similar to the bench press, the bottom of the rep, the elbows touch the floor, the top of the rep, the arms are fully extended over the midline. Box dip. Athlete may be in a kneeling or seated position. At the bottom of the dip, the elbows must be in line with the shoulders at a 90 degree bend. At the top of the dip, the arms must be fully locked out, hands beside the hips and wrists and elbows underneath the shoulders. Your butt or knees must be off the ground at the top of the dip. Each rep starts at 90 degrees with the elbows and the shoulders at the same level. The seated chest to bar pull up. The standards on this chest to bar pull up is different from the regular. In this chest to bar pull up, we will allow the athlete to pull from directly off the floor. The arms must be at full extension, but the butt may be touching in the bottom of the chest to bar. In the pull, the athlete must touch below the collarbone on the bar and return to full extension before pulling into the next pull up. Switch grip or reverse grip are also allowed. This pull up must be done from the floor. Rope climb. Athlete will start seated on the floor out of chair and must climb to the identified height using arms only. Athlete must touch the height marker before returning back to the bottom. Athletes may have as many spotters as needed to keep this exercise safe. Failure to reach the marker will result in a no rep. As always, please refer to the written standards for weights and descriptions of movement. The video is just for visual reference. Submit scores to competitioncorner.net with video by May 4th.